Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment. Imagine experiencing excruciating, painful attacks and chronic symptoms that disturbed your daily life for 15 years before finally learning that you're living with a rare genetic disease. Well, there's a new documentary that's debuting on Rare Disease Day, which is February the 28th, uh, shining a spotlight on AHP to raise awareness and help shorten maybe that 15 years it can take to receive an accurate diagnosis. Now, part of that problem is that AHP is rare but has some very common symptoms. Well, joining us today are Megan. She's a patient featured in the film, as a matter of fact, and Dr. Peter Emanuel. He's a healthcare professional with experience in AHP management. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, both Dr. Emanuel and Megan. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Well, Dr. Emanuel, if you would give us a, a brief look into your professional background. I'm a hematologist oncologist in Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm actually originally from Wisconsin, then spent 22 years in Birmingham, Alabama before moving to Little Rock. I care for quite a few patients with porphyria and, and acute hepatic porphyria is a group of diseases uh, that are all very rare. Um, and they present with common symptoms of much more common di uh, diagnoses and diseases of abdominal pain and nausea. And so oftentimes people get worked up for a gallbladder attack, appendicitis, or some other abdominal problem, and they get testing and sometimes even exploratory surgery. And years and years go by before the doctor, the primary care physician, or the specialist that the patient is referred on to, before they even think about a diagnosis of porphyria and start doing the testing for it. What causes it? It's a genetic disorder. Uh, there are many different types. Many of them arise in the liver, but some of them arise in other organs of the body uh, where there, there are enzymes that uh, basically misfire and accumulate in the body and cause pain, neurologic symptoms, and a whole constellation of other problems. Megan, tell us a bit about yourself and then tell us when you realized you had some type of problem. Yes, uh, thank you for having me on here today, Neil. I, I really appreciate you and El Nylum inviting me to share my journey of acute hepatic porphyria. Um, just a short little blurb about myself. I am also from Arkansas and have been living with AHP since I was 12, 12 years old. Um, so I first started having symptoms at 12 and you know it was abdominal pain and nausea at first and um, they thought that I had you know just normal puberty things that were going on and puberty with the hormones that come can be a huge trigger for some porphyria patients. My mother took me to every doctor that she could get to listen to us. Um, they ran all the normal tests that you would run for symptoms like that and you know everything would come back normal and so eventually even the doctors started to wonder if it was my head in my head and even at one point suggested that my mom had Munchausen sy oh. syndrome which is a very serious accusation that could have cost me even more time in my diagnosis process. Um, I'm fortunate though that my mom was able to find a doctor that thought to test for AHP. And so at 18, I finally got my diagnosis after six long years. Doctor, how is this disease diagnosed and what can be done to make it so that it's diagnosed a lot sooner in patients? So now, just in the last few years, we actually have genetic testing that can test for the 10 most common genetic mutations found in porphyria. But even with that, we also test blood and urine for elevated these elevated enzyme levels to help make the diagnosis it can still be difficult to make the diagnosis even when we remember or think about doing the testing but the biggest impediment is the doctor even contemplating porphyria and thinking to order the tests in the first place megan as a patient featured in this film two of me living with porphyria what is the goal of the film and, and what was your experience talking about and uh, communicating, raising awareness for this condition? Well, um, you know, it's, it's been a very humbling journey for sure. Um, I was very honored to be asked by Al Nalem to be involved to share my journey of AHP. And our hopes is that um, as more people 
watch the two of me film, um, they'll continue to talk about AHP and tell their 15 people. It's kind of a symbolic gesture of that 15 years it takes to diagnosis, and hopefully we can shorten that time. If even just one person suffers less than I did, I think it would it would make it worth it. After your, your diagnosis, did you meet anyone else that was living with AHP uh, as you were before being approached about this film? Yeah, so um, for several years, I, it, you know, because this was long before Facebook, not to date myself, but <laughs> it was long before social media. And so um, eventually I did link up with the Perferia community and the... <laughs> You know, mental health is so important, especially when you're dealing with something like this. And having community and other people to sound off of was was uh, definitely a game changer. And uh, I have had other patients, you know, in the beginning of their journeys reach out to me. And I'm, I'm happy to, you know, give them comfort and, you know, help them in ways that I can. Are you the only patient featured in this film? So there are six patients in this film, two of me, um, living all around the world with AHP. Doctor, what are your thoughts on how rare this disease is, you know, diagnosing it a lot earlier, uh, or even around the world where maybe awareness isn't uh, nearly as raised as it is here or beginning to be raised here? So first off, uh, this group of diseases is very rare. It's estimated that there are probably about 5,000 people total in the U.S. and Europe combined living with porphyria. Um, and again, the most common thing is to think about it, do the testing, make the diagnosis. Unfortunately, we can't cure it, but at least if we arrive at an accurate diagnosis, it prevents all the unnecessary tests and procedures that patients might have to go through. Is this film, in your opinion, doctor, more geared toward patients' awareness or physicians' awareness? I think both. Mm -hmm. I think whoever sees it will know about it, will ask about it, will ask their, uh, if a patient is suffering from symptoms, that they can at least ask their primary care doctor, doctor, might I have a diagnosis of porphyria? And in that way, raise awareness for the doctor. If the doctor sees their, their documentary, he'll, he or she will remember it further. And so we just want to r remind everyone to go to pinpointahp.com to watch the documentary uh, and to raise awareness. Well, I thank you, Megan and Dr. Emanuel, for joining us here on Health Professional Radio this morning. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Jim. Our pleasure. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Peter Emanuel and Megan. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.